Hereditary angioedema, HAE, is a rare genetic disease. It causes unpredictable and sometimes severe swelling, called HAE attacks, in different parts of the body. A new medicine called garadasimab is being tested in clinical studies to determine whether it can prevent HAE attacks and to determine its safety profile. Activated factor 12 is a blood protein that's the principal initiator of the contact system, ultimately regulating the calicrine kinin system and the intrinsic coagulation pathway, and it's also involved in the fibrinolytic and the complement pathways. These pathways play important roles in inflammation and blood coagulation. When the calicrine kinin system is overactivated, a buildup of a protein called bradykinin leads to edema, or swelling, and HAE attacks. Garidasimab is an antibody, a specialised protein, that works differently to currently available HAE therapies by blocking the function of activated factor 12. It's injected just under the skin once a month. The Vanguard study looked at how well garidasimab worked for preventing HAE attacks and whether it caused any side effects. In this study, patients took either garidasimab or a placebo for six months. Compared with patients that received placebo, Patients that received garadasimab experienced substantially fewer HAE attacks per month. They were also less likely to suffer moderate or severe attacks, and fewer patients in this group needed treatment with on-demand therapy compared with the placebo group. What was the experience of the patients? 82% of patients treated with garadasimab rated their experience as good or excellent, versus 33% of patients treated with placebo. Almost two-thirds of patients receiving garadasimab remained attack-free, while all of the placebo group continued to have HAE attacks. Both groups showed similar proportions of side effects. Overall, the results mean that garadasimab is a potential new treatment to prevent HAE attacks.